Can you smell what the rocks gorilla is cooking? Hey guys, this is my review for Rampage. Still can't believe this movie got made. Out of all the video games to have been turned into a movie, it's one about people controlling three monsters that the goal of the game is to just destroy as much property as possible. I remember playing it when I was a kid at the old Stardust uh, roller rink back in Vancouver, and somehow they turned it into a movie. And what's even scarier is it's one of the best video game based movies ever! And I'm not kidding either, the movie takes itself exactly as seriously as it should, which is not at all. Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays a zoologist, an animalologist, <laughs> that's a stupid thing that out loud, and his buddy George, an albino gorilla, uh, it gets affected by this weird ass rampage thing that was being constructed in a space station that explodes and that these three little canisters fall onto the earth and they get affected by George the gorilla, a wolf, and a giant crocodile. The movie starts off really well. The whole space sequence is actually pretty darn good. And then the relationship between George and The Rock is actually really funny. The sign language, I have a feeling, even as a person who doesn't do it, it looked really bad. <laughs> the relationship between him and this CG animated gorilla is actually way better than it has any right to be. And in the end, you will come to really care about these two and their relationship. Especially in the final part of the film. You're just gonna be like, you're over these two. Naomi Harris is in it. She's just kind of a scientist person. She's really just The Rock person in it. Otherwise, the movie is actually surprisingly really well shot and the action is really good. Probably the biggest surprise out of it. I was expecting it to be B-rated or just plain shit, but Brad Payton, the director of this film, for some really odd reason, he's like, yeah, it's a stupid freaking idea, but I'm gonna make these action scenes kick ass, and they do. Especially when the three of them get into Chicago or wherever the fuck the city is at the end, they're just beating the shit out of each other. And when George is like pounding on him and all, I was getting a big King Kong vibe because just the brutality of the fights, the veracity, the weight, the size, the mega scale of the whole film is really encapsulated into these fight scenes. There are some negatives, of course. The movie follows an incredibly generic storyline. The villains played by Malane Ackerman and whoever the hell the other guy is, is they're awful. Every time it goes back to these two, you're back in the realm of, yeah, this is a video game based movie. You take the fucking monsters fighting each other more seriously than you will with these two characters. They are awful. I've never liked Malane Ackerman. She's the only part I really dislike out of Watchmen. And then Jeffrey Dean Morgan's in it. <sighs> And he has this ridiculous southern accent cowboy character that at first is like ha 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 and then it's like okay you're still going and oh god could you just stop talking. I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan and his character admittedly is a walking cartoon but he's kind of funny. The humor in this film is actually pretty decent except when it's not. The pacing in the film is pretty decent except when it's not. The action is pretty good throughout. I can't say that it isn't bad at any point in the film. It's brutal, it's far more violent than you would expect, and most likely there's a reason why there's a really copped out motherfucker in the movie. Like, The Rock sort of says it, but he doesn't. They obviously cut him off before he says fucker. And I have a feeling that it was either keep that line in, or keep all the super violence in it to keep it PG-13. That's how violent the movie is. Like, this is a proper PG-13. So in the end, the movie is ridiculous, it's stupid, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's not trying to put science garbage in it. They hold that old genetic editing crap, they literally drop it after like 10 minutes, and you just get to see these giant titans fight each other, and the rock is pretty good. The final climax is really well set up. It's got some brutality in it that even I didn't expect. In the end, I do not regret seeing it at all. I could see it again. I'm fucking dead serious. I could watch this a second time. So in the end, I'm gonna give this movie a four out of seven. I feel it deserves it. I feel that it's solid with what it is and it did exactly what it was supposed to do. And it's a really good video game based movie. But then again, the bar is so low. But anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like. If you're interested in more, hit the subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. See you guys next time.